Miami Day, Broward and the Keys. This is South Florida's CBS 4 News. Luxury living high in the sky where your car could take a ride with you on an elevator inside the Sunny Isles Beach condo coming up. Well, it's Sunny Isles Beach high rises where more than just the resident lives high in the sky inside the state of the art luxury life next. Miami's housing market is leading the housing boom with more than 220 high rises built in just the last four years. In Sunny Isles Beach, one high rise is making a name for itself because of the amenities including an elevator that takes you and your vehicle up to your unit. <laughs> CBS News correspondent Vicente Aranas reports. When Juan Pablo Berdicoyo comes home, this is how he'll park his car in his garage. This is awesome. It's a ride for his ride, an elevator that carries cars and people to their condos on any of the 60 floors in the Porsche Design Tower. It's the first elevator of its kind. It's unique, yeah, that's for sure. It is beyond crazy, beyond crazy. But it's a boy's toy. Verdiquio, a 38-year-old shoe manufacturer, moved to Miami from Buenos Aires, Argentina, a year and a half ago. He was so ecstatic about the new feature of the building, he plunked down nearly $4 million on a unit before construction even began. It's going to be a landmark, not only in Miami landmark, a worldwide landmark. The Porsche Design Tower will have three elevators, or deservators, named after the building's owner, Gil Deser. To put it simply, it's nothing different than a freight elevator on steroids. Um, the lift is very, very heavy. It's about 40,000 pounds, but it goes up at 800 feet per minute. Whoa! Right? The elevators were just a touch desert needed for the Porsche Tower. He believed the brand name would attract wealthy buyers from around the world and help sell condos in a state rebounding from a devastating real estate crash seven years ago. Plunge pool on every single floor of uh, every single unit of the building. And, of course, you have this glass wall here which is a fire rated glass, but allows you to view your car. Units start at $4 million. Penthouses command over $30 million. Of the 132 units in the Porsche Tower, only eight remain unsold. Branding apartments gives the buyer something that they kind of know what to feel and what to expect when they move into the apartments. The high-end car maker isn't the only luxury brand finding its way into the Miami real estate business. Other condos bearing designer names in South Florida include the Armani Casa and Fendi Chateau. But not everyone is applauding the wave of luxury condos. For many, they're too expensive. And they've driven up the price of other homes and apartment leases near the beaches of Miami. Sherry Olofsson studies the real estate market for industry regulators. We are experiencing more and more in Miami what I would call almost a real estate apartheid. So we're really seeing a segmentation of social and economic classes by real estate affordability. Folks who are not on the top end of the earnings scale need to say goodbye to living on or near the beach. 70% of the luxury condo buyers in South Florida are foreigners, mostly from South America, where political or financial instability is of real concern. Parking their money in Miami's real estate is safer than a bank account back home. In many cases, these are second, third, or fourth homes for people, and they're not actually going to occupy these units most of the time, which means that the space is being wasted in areas where we really need it, and they're not adding to the economy. Right now, we're looking northeast. But as long as Miami remains a tropical playground of the rich and famous, developers will keep catering to them, and high-end realtors like Nancy Batchelor will keep busy. Yes, I think this is a new trend. I think we're going to be seeing this over and over, and Miami is still a bargain. The Porsche Design Tower will be complete in May. Already, seven out of every ten units have been purchased with foreign money, which is why some people are calling Miami the Monaco of America. Vicente Arenas, CBS4. Wow, well, for all these wealthy foreigners who are spending their money here <laughs> yes. in Miami and not planning to live in those apartments, I volunteer to spend some time there. I'll even clean the toilets. Let me, I don't know if I'll go that far, but I'll, I'll take a release if you need me to. You know what? We've seen booms like this before. Let's hope we don't see a bust like yeah, we've seen in the past. That's Fingers crossed. Mm -hmm. yeah. What's ahead, Elliot? Here's what's coming up at 6.